Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Gonna give you a second here to let this view sink in. See if you can figure out where I'm standing. This is the entrance to Vanderbilt Beach, what us locals used to call Vandy Beach, still call it Vandy Beach. This is just west of the parking garage on Vanderbilt Beach Road. Used to be a boardwalk here. And Cabana Dan's was over here on the left. There were showers over here. A bathhouse used to stand back in here behind the trees. That's gone. The landscape has changed. People come out here and they're just in awe and how things look now. Still a big pile of sand, some piles of debris waiting to be picked up. Take a stroll north up the beach. Vanderbilt Beach, North Naples, Florida. Ritz Carlton sticking up there in the background. Closed, of course. seen any dolphins this morning. Yet anyway, who knows. We had a really high tide last night. You can see the water. It was back in here over this little crest. I saw Dexter out here this morning. That was fun. Had a nice little chat with him about his knee replacement at the end of my first live feed this morning. One of our friends, Todd, is going in for a knee replacement. Well, he's actually at the hospital now getting prepped for surgery. 
I wanted to talk to Dexter about some of the things that he experienced with his knee replacement. There's the Turtle Club at the Vanderbilt Beach Resort right there. Right there. They're slowly coming back, making a recovery here. All the employees working hard to rebuild that place. Hear that osprey? Can you hear the osprey? It's up on top of one of the condos behind me. Yeah, you can look right through the Turtle Club restaurant. Completely gutted now. Look at how much sand they lost there. They're gonna reopen. No worries, they're gonna reopen. Reopen strong. Of you are looking forward to their reopening. Remember how kind they were to our friend Roy? They would have their beach chairs, the lounge chairs, and the umbrellas out here in the morning. And even though Roy and I would be out here before sunrise, they'd make sure Roy had one to sit on out here. They took such good care of him here. Thank you, Turtle Club and Vanderbilt Beach Resort for being so kind to our captain. Still hard to get used to the views over here. Just the landscaping gone. And you know, see the bottoms of these condos and seeing those seawalls sticking out. It's just hard to get used to that view. But that's going to be our view for quite a while, I'm sure. So you don't, when you look out in the water, you don't see a lot of debris, but trust me, it is out there. It is floating around. You see that might be an old crab trap floating out there. There is debris under the water and buried under the sand in the water. So not advisable, not a good idea to go swimming right now. Stay out of the water. Plus there's bacteria. I can't stress that enough. There's still a high level of bacteria and other yucky stuff in there that you probably don't want to be swimming with for right now be happy that you can walk on the beach with caution the beach is enter at your own risk walk on the beach at your own risk you never know what might wash up on the beach or get uncovered here during the tide changes 
wear some shoes. Good idea to keep your shoes on right now. Del Norwegians, way off in the distance there, the pine trees of Del Norwegians. Right about dead center in the screen. Yesterday we took a walk up Gulf Shore Drive over there, behind on the other side of the condos. I just wanted you to see the progress that's being made. A lot of, just about all of the debris, not all of it, but almost all of the debris has been picked up, at least the first round. We got this crest now and then there's over here there's a ledge that drops off and now it's full of water back in here from the last night's high tide this beach has changed drastically as you can imagine as you can see I'm guessing by January we're going to see some more people out here. We'll see people, more people walking on the beach by January. Beachfront hotels here at on Vanderbilt Beach are going to reopen up in North Naples here. No clue. I'm sure they will be posting that on their websites and social media pages. But everybody's looking forward to that. Fort Myers Beach, boy, it's gonna be a while, quite a while before they rebuild up there. Mm. Horrible and devastation up there. Not just the property, but the loss of life up there. So many sad stories coming out of Fort Myers Beach and other areas, Sand Belt and North of Cape Coral.
coming up on the La Playa Beach Hotel there on the right, right in the center. The tall, skinny building. We're at low tide right now. This is low tide. It's easy walking on the beach right now. Yeah, if you're looking for some positive things, it's easy walking. It's the bottom floors of the La Playa, where the club was upstairs, the restaurant, the private club. <coughs> In the villas over here, excuse me. <coughs> And the beautiful palm trees, palm trees still standing strong, the coconut palms. Boy, it would be awesome to see Walter and little Daisy. See little Daisy running up to me here on the beach. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think his house is livable right now. Gulf of Mexico. A 
look back down to the south. shadows of the palm trees on the sand. Saw four little white ibises walking along here yesterday. There's one over here right now. There's one. With our little white ibis friends. Hey, this morning we started our beach walk from up on top of the Blue Bill Avenue Bridge. That was a treat. It's nice getting back in. Good morning. Getting back into our morning beach walks anyway. Spending some quality time with our beach family.
Uh, there's our friend Walt's house, Walt and Daisy. I pray to God that they're okay. Hopefully they left. But every morning that I've been coming out here on Vanderbilt Beach, I look in the sand for little doggy footprints. <laughs> hoping, hoping, hoping to see some little poodle footprints in the sand here. see any this morning. <laughs> no people or poodle footprints. Oh, how I miss the sounds of those waves.
trying to find hard spots here to walk in, hard sand. All of a sudden you, you hit a real gushy spot as you're walking along. We're about five condos south of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park now. Right here, if you look close, you can see one of the reasons they don't want you in the water. See these little dark spots out there? That's debris out there. Might be chunks of concrete. See, there's a piece of concrete right here. Still stuff out there buried in the sand. So not advisable to go out there in the water yet. Last thing you want to do is go out in that water, cut your foot open. Ugh. Not a good thing right now. Lots of bacteria in that water, extra bacteria. Oh my goodness gracious, look at here. Seven little white ibises marching down the beach. Seven of our little white feathered friends. A very welcome sight right there. We saw some little sanderlings, little sandpipers running around earlier this morning. March of the Ibis. Love it, love it, love it.
more concrete or rocks out there in the water. Oh, it's going to take years to get the junk out of the water. Man, that's a big undertaking there. Hopefully, Southwest Florida Television is going to be a part of that. Hopefully, you will be a part of that. I know we're going to need help. I know a lot of you are wanting to volunteer at Del Norwegans, but there's nothing you can do right now at Del Norwegans. The best thing you can do is just keep checking on Florida State Park's website. Keep checking Del Norwegans Pass State Park website. Check Friends of Del Norwegans Pass State Park on Facebook. Check that group out for updates about the park. If you want to help right now, you can help at other parks. They're asking for volunteers for other Florida State Parks here in the area. Always, always need volunteers. Even before the hurricane, we always need volunteers. Now we need more. Also, if you love animals, don't forget about my friends out at Hawaii Animal Preserve out in East Naples, out in the estates there. They are always looking for volunteers, donations, volunteers. Hawaii Chili Animal Preserve. Awesome place. If you love animals, I'll guarantee you, you're gonna have some one-of-a-kind animal encounters out there at Hawaii Chili. Del Norwegians up there. Keep out, keep out, keep out. That's all I can tell you, stay out of the park. Well, we had a nice walk on the beach this morning. Got some time in there, huh? Some beach time. Not everything was beautiful, but it's always nice to be out on the beach with our friends.
You know, if the views aren't always beautiful right now, I hope at least they're informative. You know, I'm just trying to keep you up to date on what's going on in North Naples here, how things are looking the best I can during my morning walks. Del Norwegians right there. No more sea oats, no more dunes. Sad sight. I just above, boy, is that blue sky ever beautiful? Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous blue sky. We always can look up, always look up. The sky is always beautiful. We'll be back at Del Norwegian's, trust me. We will be back. Keep the faith, my friends, keep the faith. Still so beautiful when you look out to the Gulf. And then when you turn around. Hmm. You know, when we were walking on Vanderbilt Beach, right after the storm, that's what Vanderbilt Beach looked like, all of Vanderbilt Beach. All kinds of debris on the beach. You can see here at Del Norwegians, the tide has cleared the beach off up to the high tide line. But back in the park, it is not a pretty sight. Oh, I think I'm going to call it a morning. Still got a two-mile walk back to the house. <coughs> hey, those of you that sent those stars today, thank you. I really appreciate that. It's been a tough month. <coughs> I don't need to tell you why. I think you can figure out why. 
those of you that maybe sent a tip, thank you for doing that. Keeping my fingers crossed. And of course, if you want to help out, there's a link to the Red Cross's Hurricane Ian Relief Fund in the description of this post. If you want to send a donation to the Red Cross, I made it as easy as possible. Whatever you can do to help is appreciated by all of us Southwest Floridians, believe me. Hmm. Oh goodness, there's a beach walk. Well, no stars. No stars on this beach walk, but that's all right. Maybe somebody made a huge donation to the Red Cross, that'd be awesome. Or someplace that can use the money. All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Maybe a sunset tonight, we'll see what happens. If I can get a lift to the beach somewhere, I'd love to go to the pier. The pier is just beautiful. Even though it's beat up, I still love our pier. It's just kind of a a symbol of strength right now. You know, it survived, it's there, it didn't crumble. The pier is a beautiful symbol of the strength of Naples. Naples strong. Naples pier strong. <laughs> Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.